Hi guys, it's Song here. I am back. Oh my gosh, I miss you guys so much. So I'm back on making video regularly now, and yes, expect to see me in your subscription feed or whatever you watch my videos at. <laughs> okay, so today we're going to be making this card. This is a spring color inspired card, and it's for Studio Seventy Five's April Challenge. If, if you have not checked it out yet, I will link that in the description box so you can go ahead and check it out. And the, the color palette, the mood board of this challenge is just beautiful. I love the spring colors. So if you, you know, want to make some spring color um, projects, this color palette is perfect for you. This beautiful stencil right here and all the paper I use on this card are all from Studio 75. I will list everything I use on this card in the description box and on my blog post so you all know what I use and get an overall idea on what you can use as well. Now I've been getting some suggestions lately about uh, really showing you guys what I used on video, not just, not just only listing them. So I will try to do that more often. Some things are just not like not convenient enough to show because they are out of packaging. But if the stuff are in packaging, I will show you what they are. Or if I'm using a bottle of paint, I will show you what they are. So hopefully that's gonna help more. The whole paper collection is called Splash It. It's a relatively new um, collection from Studio 75, but I'll also list them in the description box and the individual papers too. So if you don't want to know the whole collection, you won't know the individual piece. And the chipboard that I showed you, that little beautiful heart pieces, are from a Polish chipboard company. It's called. Mm, I'm gonna say it so wrong because I don't know how to say it. Scrap Ink. I definitely said that wrong, but. I will list that in the description box. My excuse for saying anything wrong is that I am a Chinese. Alphabet is not in my language and English is definitely not my language. So yeah, that's my excuse for saying anything wrong here. Now I'm adding some 3D matte gel to the surface so that I could adhere some um, grits particle thingy to it. Because this card is so simple by itself without details like that, it's gonna be a bit boring. And one tip right here, always let your 3D matte gel or whatever gel you are using on your surface dry before you do anything else because if it's not dried, any paint to add is gonna get messed up and the hot glue is going to, you know, get lift out. Just a mess, so let it dry, okay? Let it dry, let it dry, always let it dry. After you let it dry, you can go ahead and add your embellishment to your projects. After I arranged and put on embellishments, I will go ahead and add some watercolor to the right side of the card because I want this card to be vibrant, to be fresh, to be very spring inspired. And right now the right side is just too boring and it's not colorful enough. So that's why I am doing this. And after that, this card is finished. So I really hope you like this video and like this project. If you enjoy it, leave a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. I'll talk to you later in my next video. Bye! Mwah.